Okay, welcome back to Mr. Hassan's Maths Channel. This is now question number five from the IGCSE Cambridge Paper 4 Extended October 2021 session. This question here is about graphs of functions. And here we're given a cubic curve, which we have to plot. And there are some missing values in the table. So we can just substitute the x values into the equation and write down you know, the, the missing values. Um, a little tip that maybe you might find useful is using the table function, which is perfectly fine for you to do from your calculator. You press menu, you go to nine, which is table. In this particular calculator, it's nine table. It might be different in others. And you just type out this function. So it's x cubed. Here we can use this x here. We've got to cube that minus 3x squared, so minus 3x and then squared, just as like it says there, and then plus 3. Then you press equals, and then it gives you a chance to put in another function, which we don't need to do. So I'll press equals again, and then it tells you where you want to start your table from. Well, I want to start from negative 1, so I'll press negative 1, then equals, and then where do you want to end your table? Well, our table ends at 3, so you press 3 equals and then we see the steps well they're going up by negative by 0 0.5 each time that's the, the those, that's what it means by step 0 0.5 0 0.5 0 0.5 that's how much it's increasing by so put 0 0.5 press equals and then press <laughs> equals again it will produce your table so you can see um like you can check when x is minus 0 0.5 you get 2.125 you see that zero 3, 0.5, 2.375, you can see it's correct so far. So we can see when x equals negative 1, y equals negative 1 as well. That's going to be negative 1 here. And we've also got to see what happens when x equals positive 1, uh, positive 1.5, sorry. That's, you can see the, the table of values that we have so far, they're all as they should be. Like if you go up here, you've got 1, 1, as we see, then 1.5, negative 0 0.375 negative 0 0.375 and then when x equals 3 if we go down further x equals 3 y is also equal to 3 so that's a, ni a nice way of doing that question there's no problem with using the table function let me put it back to the normal okay so we've filled in the table um, you could have just used your calculator to put minus 1 cubed, minus 3 times minus 1 squared, plus 3, and so on. Okay, the table function is a nice way of doing it. It's absolutely fine to use that. Then it says, B, on the grid, draw the graph of y equals x cubed, minus 3x squared, plus 3, for x values between minus 1 and 3. So the grid is already laid out for us. We have everything we need in here. We just have to put in the values. So minus 1, minus 1. Negative 1, negative 1 is over here. So I'm going to put a dot and a circle. Please make sure you use a sharp pencil. Don't use a pen. Never use a pen for this because it's difficult for you to cross out in mistakes. So always use a pencil, especially with these type of questions when you've got to draw graphs and diagrams. And don't and use a sharp pencil. Don't use thick. You don't have big blobs when you plotting your points. No. Either you do what I did there, put a little dot, a little dot and then a circle or you put a cross something like that those are, are the ways to plot these points okay so then we got minus 0 0.5 2.125 minus 0 0.5 2.125 well we can see here this is uh, 2.12345 okay 2.125 is just slightly above that line here so we're going to try and be as accurate as we can it's above it's a bit above that um 2.1, <clears throat> that's 2.2, it's about a quarter of the way up, try and be as accurate as you can, okay, it's a very small space there, so it's not a big problem, then you've got 0 and 3, 0 and 3, which is up here, right on this place, then you've got uh, 0 0.5, 2.375, 0.5 and 2.375, that's 2.1, 2.3, that's 2.4, so it's kind of closer to there, something like that and then we got um, 1 1 1 1 is over here and then 1.5 and it's going down to negative 0 0.375 so negative 0 0.375 well there's negative 
one, two, three, four. So it's going to be somewhere over here, somewhere over there, close to zero, negative zero four, zero point four, two, negative one. It's down here, and then two point five, and minus zero point one two five. Okay, minus. So it's going to be long here, minus zero point one two five. So that's minus one. So it's going to be like over here somewhere. And then you're going to have 3 and 3, which is up here. So you can see, as a cubic curve is, up and up like this, it's got that shape to it. It's got that shape to it, and we can see that that's the shape that's going to be formed. Now, you've got to be very careful when you're plotting these, these graphs now. For this section here, I would keep the page as it is and not turn it upside down, and I'd do like the first section of this curve with the, with the page kind of one way and then I'll try to turn the page around and do the next of it because when your when your hand is on the inside of the curve it's normally easier okay now um, use a pencil a sharp pencil don't have lots of strokes but just try and do the do it without going through the points first just try and do it like a little trial run I'll do for the first half here of this curve and then continue so you just have to try and make it follow the curvature of this that's not too bad. It's slightly out there. Okay, it could be a bit better. So let me just do that again. Have to make it go through the points as much as you can. Something like that. Not too bad. It's a bit too flat over there. It should maybe have come down a bit less there. Let me just do that a bit better. That's a bit better. And then for the next part, we're going to, from there, whoops. No, that's too flat. Pop a curve. No, you have to try. It's not that easy with this pen here. Okay, there. Then down to there, and it's going to go up. So down to here, let me try and get my hand to sort it out. See, now what I would normally do is I'd turn the page upside down and continue. So my hand is on the inside of the curve. When it's on the inside, it's easy. I can't really do that here. So I'm just going to go with it as best as I can. Let me just try and make that a bit better. Down to there. <clears throat> hand shaking now. Okay, <laughs> you're probably fed up of watching this now. Let me try and do it better. Not, not too bad, not too bad, curving upwards, and then from here, upwards, up to that point there, okay, now that last part shouldn't be curving outwards, so I'll just correct that a little bit there, <clears throat> so this is going to kind of go out, up, 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 like this, still it's not quite 100%, being a bit of a perfectionist here, but uh, it shouldn't it shouldn't like curve outwards like that. This is that's a, I guess pretty decent attempt at this curve. Okay, um, they don't expect from you perfection. It should curve the right way. It should go through the points, and um, you know it shouldn't be like a lopsided type of curve, or like too thin, or um, <clears throat> you know, not going through the points. Okay, so try and do your best as possible. So that's the the sketch of this. Well, not the sketch. The the plot of this curve. Y equals x cubed minus three x squared plus three for x values between minus three and three. Now for part C, it says by drawing a suitable straight line on the grid, solve this equation. Okay, now this here, this part, this wasn't part of the question. I put that there myself. This is what's drawn. Now, what they don't want you to do, they don't want you to draw this grid, this graph, don't make a new table of values and draw this graph on the same grid. No, they want you to draw a straight line on the grid to solve this equation. So this comes back to solving equations graphically. So what you've got to do is, you've got to think about, okay, this is what's drawn. This is what we've drawn. Okay, and we have to solve, we have to solve this equation over here, which is x cubed 
minus 3x squared plus x plus 1 equals 0. Okay, now in order to solve this equation, what we have to do is we have to try to make, to change this equation so that one side of it looks exactly like what's drawn. We can't change what's drawn, it's already drawn. But what you have to do is try to change the equation such that one side of it looks exactly like this. So if you look at this, you've got x cubed minus 3x squared. That's x cubed minus 3x squared. So these two are fine as they are. But I don't want to have an x. I want to be. I want to get rid of the x. So if I take away x from here, there will be no x on this side. And I also want to have a 3. Okay, I have a 1 right now. How do I make 1 become 3? Well, I can add 2 to it. But what I do to one side of the equation, I must do the same to the other. So I must take away x from this side and add 2 to that side. So I end up with x cubed minus 3x squared. The x's cancel out. Plus 3 equals minus x plus 2. Now once one side of the equation that we have to solve looks like what's drawn, which it does now, therefore we draw the line y equals whatever's left on the other side. That's the line I have to draw to solve this equation, uh, this equation, sorry, using this curve. Okay, I have to make the equation that we have to solve look like what's drawn and then draw, draw y equals whatever's left on the other side. So now I'm going to draw y equals minus x plus 2 on the same pair of axis. Now y equals minus x plus 2. Okay, you can see that the y-intercept is equal to 2 and the gradient is equal to minus 1. All right, so y equals minus x plus 2. If we, for example, if we try to find where it crosses the x, the y-axis, we see it crosses the y-axis at 2. And if we see where it crosses the x-axis, it crosses the x-axis when y is 0. And when y is 0, okay, x also is 2. So it's going to go through these two points here. All right, you can even think of this as x plus y equals 2. It's the same line as that, just rearranging it. x is 0, y is 2, y is 0, x is 2. So we can just draw a straight line. As draw it thin so you can be more accurate going through these two points I'm gonna just join them together then I'm going to continue you must continue for the whole axis I'm just trying to be accurate so the line that you draw with your ruler it should be a straight line that connects these two points okay so there we have the line now how do I use this line now to solve the equation well it's when okay they have the same value okay when they have the same value they have the same value at the points where they intersect so i need to find the points where they intersect which is one point here one point here and another point right there now we can see that one of the points is when x equals one we have to write the x values of where they intersect where they intersect so that means x equals one is one of them then we have this negative value here which is going to be now to show the steps that you have actually done this question properly um, graphically what they want you to do is they want you to draw these lines so we can see here this is minus 0 0.5 now let's look at what each of these is there's 10 divisions for, so each one must be 0 0.2 let's see minus 0 0.1 minus 0 0.2 minus 0 0.3 minus 0 0.4 minus 0 0.5 it looks like it's minus 0 0.4 is the other value I'll put minus 0 0.4 I'll put 4 0 because uh, we could write things to two decimal places here, it seems. And it looks like it's exactly minus 0 0.4 from what we can see there. And then we have also this line, uh, this point over here where they intersect. Let me just see. It looks like, again, exact value. It gives you 2 point, let's see. That's 2.1, 2.2, 2.3, 2.4. 2 so that looks like it's 2.4. So that's the other point where they intersect when x equals 2.4. So those are the three solutions of this equation, which we found by solving, um, by basically um, using the graph that's drawn, by rearranging the equation so one side of it looks like what's drawn, and drawing y equals whatever's on the other side. Right, so a few points in this question. First point is that um, never use a ruler to join the points together in the curve. All right, so you don't use a ruler to join them together. Okay, that will lose your marks. Secondly... Um, when you draw your straight line, you do use a ruler to draw the points together for the straight line. Um, the other thing is that they don't, they don't want you to solve this equation by drawing another curve and then finding where x equals 0. Nor they, do they want you to solve it 
algebraically by using your calculator function for cubic curves. They don't, that's not how you're supposed to. It says by drawing a suitable straight line, solve the equation. So that's the instruction here. So to get the full four marks, you have to follow the instruction. So they want to see that you draw this line. They want to see that you've used the line to see the point of intersection and write them down. So it's very important for you to uh, follow the instructions of the question. Okay, so there's the answer to question number five um, from this paper. Other questions from this paper you can find, find in the playlist that should appear somewhere in this area up here. Other questions from the um, topic of graphs of functions you can, from, uh, for IGCSE you can find in the uh, playlist that should appear in this area. And you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link. Thank you for watching and see you soon.